Welcome to another tutorial about Carly. At this stage we are at Carly 4 and I would like to end um, today with a graphical boot up so you can install your Carly version and then have a graphical uh, plasma. That's the choice we've made. We have a um, learning phase myself and uh, how do you say that? An intention to learn more about plasma in 2020 and New Year's intention. So I'm working on Plasma, as you can see, and I'm learning every, uh, every time, learning new menus and all stuff like that. But talking about Plasma. So Plasma is, um, I've written the article already, I've made several attempts to make a video as well, uh, but I've tried to summarize what we need to do in here in this page. So this is what we're gonna cover. And this is the, the, the guideline, the red lines, the, the elements we should change. First off, we need to get our data in, and our data is actually in uh, Arch Linux, uh, sorry, in uh, Carly 4, we can get it here. I'll do it later on. I always put at the bottom a link to the latest one, so Carly 4. So this is where all the data is, that's the story we've done. Every month, one video at least to make, uh, well, one version of Carly at least to follow up Arch Linux. ISO. Now I have an easier way than, than git cloning. I have this script. So I go to Carly, but you can just git clone it. I have this script that says get all Arch Linux Carly GitHubs. And I have this button here, up here as well. And I just say number one and run it. And everything that's already available, well, is, is, there's nothing done here there, but Carly 4 is new. So Carly 4 is downloaded. Control H, let's hide a little bit. So Ctrl H is, this is a very important file uh, folder for your system. And that's something we did as well last time in the previous video. So Ctrl H. What we like to do is boot up into something graphical, right? We want to boot up into Plasma. Where am I going to put Plasma? So that Arch Linux, Arch ISO, the application that we're running here, this build application knows it should install Plasma. It's going to be in the packages. So inside the packages, in the file, there's a lot of things. And this is just Arch ISO. We've not, we've not done, uh, did not do anything to it except, well, update between Arch ISO. That's it. So this, starting from here at the bottom, we say, look, from here, Carly will start. So a hashtag means it won't bother about it. We can type anything that's for comments. What we want to install is Plasma, right? And in this case, Plasma Meta. So let's see if we can open it up again. So probably get her go back. So this is the article we're gonna follow. So packages x8664, meaning we're not doing 32 bits. We're doing only 64 bits. Every package on one line, hashtag in front of it, and packages from AOR are not accepted unless you build them yourself and put it on the repo. Installing Plasma is also explained here in the Arch Wiki. There's no knowledge, I, I, all the knowledge is available. Just check it out, read it. And it says here Plasma Meta package. I'm choosing this one. Um, it's gonna install as well SDDM and SDDM MCK, which we'll need later on. So that's a good thing for me. How do you install it? Well, sudo pacman minus s, you know, but in an Arch ISO procedure, we'll just put the name in here. That's it, Plasma Meta. Now, that's one thing, but we have also something called a cheat sheet on Arch Linux, and check out our cheat sheet is here. Now I've already downloaded it, so it must be in my downloads. And we have here this cheat sheet. I zoomed in a little bit. So plasma. So let's let's make it bigger. Um, Carly is now becoming a Carly plasma, right? But you can deviate from it. Why not? So simple as it as, as, as just taking some packages. We're going to take plasma and plasma meta in my case. I'm also going to take package kit Qt5. Where are you? I'm gonna take package kit Qt5, QTA applications meta, 
and um, I'll have my system up and running in no time. So if you say, no, I'm gonna make myself a Carly Cinnamon, then you just read another line. I say, okay, Cinnamon means I need to install this one and that one and that one. These guys are from AOR, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky, I think. But basically, Cinnamon, right? And the same goes for all the rest. So it's online, it's on the wiki, it's on the cheat sheet, and there we are. We are making new a new ISO. Um, so the Plasma Meta package. Let's move you over here. That's done. If you want to have Dolphin and Console and stuff like that, you need to have this package applications Meta. So it's actually kind of well needed. No terminal, no file manager. Not easy to work. This one is interesting and a must know if you want to use later on Discover. So I've made some explanations, some links in here. So go and have a read what's Discover. And then last but not least, we can also um, add SDM. And I say can because of the fact that I using, I'm using Plasma Meta, I'm actually also installing SDM and also installing SDM KCM. KCM, I think it is called. Let me check. We can check in here. Let's both check. So SDM, so somewhere down here is the applications, applications Meta. And then control find SDDM and go up. SDDM KCM. You see the configure module for SDM. Check. But these guys are actually not necessary. Not necessary because they are in here. So they will be installed anyway. But just for educational purposes, I do think it's important to, to know that we're not installing Lightium, as in Arch Linux 15 desktops are now with Lightium. So it's a choice. And the choice is yours. And it's explained as well in here, the display manager. I put somewhere a link to the other display managers as well. Must be somewhere else, graphical environment. Well, we'll maybe see it later, but it's simple, just Arch Wiki and then Display Manager. Then you know what possibility you have. LightDM is here, SDM is here, GDM maybe you know that as well, GNOME, and so on. Lots of choices. Okay, so first is tell Arch ISO, go get me a desktop. That's this, that's phase one. Go get me a desktop, fine. Educational wise, we uh, we add this line, but it's not necessary. And KCM will be installed as well, so if we should not mention it really. But um, I put in, in here as well, package builders do change sometimes the dependencies. If Arch Linux says Plasma Meta will not contain SDM anymore, well, it will not work. You need, you're missing a Lego piece. Right, so you need to add it really then for sure. Okay, so this is gonna go on our system. Then we need to tell the system to boot up not in a black thing. We've booted up always until now in something black. This is the second uh, step. Customize a root fs to say boot me graphical. So first of all, we're gonna save this. That's one thing. We're going to the Arch ISO root file system in the root in the customized Arch root file system, SH. This thing says go boot up in something black, right? And it should be changed from multi-user to something graphical. That's it. Now Arch Linux knows, or Arch knows, Arch ISO, both of them, they know. Fine, let's boot up something graphical, but you need to tell them what something graphical is. And then we go to, let's move you over here, my friends, come on. 
to the SDM, okay? And we need to enable you. Install, blah, 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 that's fine. Install is great. We're gonna use that later on, so that's good, that's here. I always seem to skip it, here it is. Loading the display manager. Um, mm -mm. Here it is. This, this is what should trigger your brain to say, ah, I should enable SDM service, okay? Which means I should enable and then SDM service. Now, we shouldn't actually be typing service again, educational. So if you don't type service behind it, well, system CTL will consider, will, will say as default, it's, it's meant to be service. There are other things you can put behind like socket and stuff like that. But basically, with all our packages, we are booting up graphical and we're telling SDM go kick off and, and load up. So that's good. We are, we're just at this point in time, we'll boot up graphically. But still not finished. We are working with SDM. If it's LightDM, you do something else. But with SDM, we follow the advice of the Arch Wiki. And I say here, SDM supports automatic login through its configuration file because that's, that's what I want to have. I want to boot up and immediately I'm on Plasma and later on a nice pop-up for Calamaris. Click, 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 installed, right? That's the thing in our head. So we need to do this and I've summarized it here again. The knowledge is from ArchWiki and we make it so that uh, I hope we can understand it. So we go to here, right? Uh, did I write that correctly? Auto login for SDDM. We become root via Tunar. Okay, so we forget this for a while. Control Alt B in my case, open up Tunar. Then go to your Carly. Carly number four. This guy is all about This is at this point still Eric, but if you go inside, uh, it will become at some point root and then we can't do anything anymore. So that's, that's okay. In this setup, it's not actually needed to go inside because I haven't built it yet. It's coming from the GitHub. But once it's, it's, uh, we start building, then everything becomes from root. So at this point in time, Eric, you don't need to do it. But remember guys, if you say, hey, you can't open it, open it with Tunar and then uh, become the boss of the system there. So I can keep in Dolphin for this time because it came from GitHub, right? ETC, and then I need to create a folder. Fine, they say, create a new folder, stdm.conf.d check inside here I'm gonna make a file text file is better it's called auto login.conf enter and now we can just copy paste and let's talk about the content so copy pasting from over here in here Relogin means if you log out, you immediately log in, log back in. So if you don't want that, you set it, set it to false. So we can't, we can log out and then just wait there and then log in to, for instance, another uh, desktop. User, we're gonna give the user that's going to boot up in our system, our live USB system. We're gonna call him live user. I've decided that it's the same name as on Arc Linux, so no errors made there. And then the session is gonna be Plasma. And this is also important, I'm gonna choose for a better theme. So when I want to log out and log in, it's a nice theme and I actually can log out and log in. Okay, so that's uh, changed and chosen. So that was step, what was it? I did not quite number it, but step one, well, it's uh, one and then two, 
auto login is three. And we need to customize, well, if you create a user, then we should actually also, uh, well, if we're using live user in SDDM, we need to create the user as well. So back to roots, customize AI roots, create user. And in here, we're gonna copy paste over the user ad. Now I must admit, and that's the fun, that's the only reason, well, not the only, but the reason why I do it is that I can learn. I am using now something completely different that I'm not using on other clinics. So I've been looking at the page. I've been reading up ArchWiki users groups. And you see here the list of group was here. I was looking at all these groups. I said, okay, I'm going to decide to take ADM because it gives us full read access to journal. Okay, sounds good. And I've decided to take some of them. This I needed at some point in time for my Bluetooth headset, right? So wheel, yeah, wheel is uh, surely important, uh, but some of these things are not interesting, but some of them are. These are not used, so no, not interesting to, to put uh, the user, except this one, I've created that one unused by default, can be used, for example, for granting access to Network Manager. And, well, we are using Network Manager, so I've installed it, nevertheless, even though it says here unused. But um, that's the point. I want to learn, I want to experiment, and we are using these guys, that's for now, and maybe for, um, if, if you want to read a little bit better, we can call these groups Carly, and then we're gonna give give this thing like so, and put this guy over here. That's I think a little bit better to read. Of course, use the proper. Ah, I, I don't think we should do that, like so. No dashes. That's better. The colors will tell you that it's gonna work. So group Scarly, I'm going to use these guys that may change over time. That's the point. Experiment. I did not do any typos because there shouldn't be any spaces or the comma should be correct. Of course, the group should be correct. I don't see any mistakes here. All right. And the last sentence here of the code is said, saying, OK, the password for the live user, forget about it. So delete the live user's password. So it's empty, we can log in uh, automatically, that's the point. We are in Plasma, we log out, we get the name, we are named live user, password is asked, we don't fill anything in, and that's that. Okay, was that everything? I think so. I think we can start building. So um, let's stop the video here, and let's start with another video to show you the build and what we've done. All right.